I'm going to show you how to create a quiz in Google Forms. Now this is very easy and simple and I'm going to go ahead and show you all the steps right here. The first step is you actually want to navigate to the Google Forms homepage and you can do that by going to forms.google.com and you'll end up on this page. You can either start with a template or I usually like to start from a blank form. So I'll select that. You can put in a title and then you can go ahead and put in a description if you want. Now, once you have that set, you can actually go over to the tab right here that says settings and click on that tab and you'll see an option at the top that says make this a quiz and we're going to go ahead and turn that option on. Now, there's going to be a few different options that it's going to enable for you when you do select this to be a quiz. And the first one is about the grades. Um, if you want the grades to be, for example, immediately released once someone submits, or if you want to turn on the grades maybe later after, you know, you go ahead and manually review each person's response, you can select that here. Uh, we're going to just leave this one immediately for now. Um, as well, there are a few different other options about um, people being able to see what questions they got wrong versus what they got right, as well as people being able to see what each uh, point, uh, how many points each question corresponds to. So we're just going to leave all those options on. And then finally, um, this will allow you to go ahead and if you want each question to be worth the same amount of points, for example, like if you want every question to be worth one point, maybe you can go ahead and select that. But I'll leave this at zero because I want to manually select all of the wait the weightings for each of the questions. So what I can now do is actually go back to the questions and I can start creating the quiz. So now let's go ahead and type in some sample questions and I can say, let's see, what is the longest phase of the cell cycle? And we can put this as a multiple choice question. So we're going to go ahead and type in some options, prophase, telophase, interface and so now let's just keep the three options and what we can do is actually click answer key down here and we're gonna select the correct answer which is interface and let's say we want this question to be worth just one point um, and now we can click done and what we can do is actually go ahead and turn on this if, if we want this to be a required question so if we want someone to have to answer this question before we submit the quiz we can just turn this on um, now let's say we want to create another question and we can say what is the process of cell division called and let's say we want this to be a short answer question and that way someone can enter, uh, enter in some short answer text. We can go to the answer key and then add a correct answer and we can put in let's say for example interface or sorry mitosis. And then let's say we just want to put it without the capital as well. And now another option that I didn't talk about before is that adding answer feedback. So what you can do is if someone, you know, if someone gets the question um, incorrect or if they get it correct, you can go ahead and just answer or enter in um, some feedback about uh, maybe where they can get more information about the question or maybe what section of the textbook it's from just so the person can go ahead and reread that section. I'm just going to leave good job right here and click save and I will go ahead and actually also select mark all other answers as incorrect and I will go ahead and actually set this to two points and I can click done. So now let's say we have our quiz you know, done and we went ahead and added in all the questions we want. Let's make this one required as well. We can actually go ahead and start sharing this quiz. So we can just click send right here. And what we will do is go ahead and go to the link section. We can either email it or we can just get a link and click shorten URL to get a shorter link. And we can actually send this link out to whoever we want to be able to create the uh, complete the quiz. So let's say we go ahead and open this in a new tab and you can actually see I have the quiz opened up. So now let's go ahead and for example, answer some of the questions wrong. So let's say I just want to select prophase and then I'll put I don't know as the answer to this and I click submit and I'll actually see that the response is recorded and I'll be able to view my score and it'll tell me I got this question wrong and I got this question wrong as well as you can see the feedback. Now let's actually go back and um, go to submit another response. Let's actually enter this in correctly. And what we can do is view our score and we'll see we did get everything correct.
Um, going back to our form as well, we can actually go ahead and go to the responses and we'll be able to see exactly how people have been doing in the course with like points distribution, what type of answers were selected, and so on and so forth. And we can go ahead and view it different ways as well if we want to just be able to do that. Now this was a basic introduction on how to create a quiz. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave them down below and I will get back to you in the comments. As well as if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up.